response size adjusts helps you improve fallback funds legibility. User activations now get propagated between picture-in-picture -picture documents and their opener. Scroll containers are now keyboard focusable by default. And there's plenty more. I'm Ariana Hara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 127. Your site's legibility can decrease when the first choice font family is unavailable, and its fallback font has a significantly different aspect value. On the screen, you can see the difference between the Verdana and Times font, even though the text is the same size. If your site were to fall back to the Times font, it becomes a lot harder to read. The font size adjust CSS property helps you adjust the font size of fallback fonts to keep the aspect value consistent, ensuring that the text appears similar regardless of the font use. On the screen, you can see how using font size adjust maintains the legibility between the Verdana and Times fonts. To learn more about how font size adjust works, its available values, and how to choose the right value for your fonts, visit the article in the description. The Document Picture-in-Picture -picture API now propagates user activations between the Document Picture-in-Picture -picture window and its opener. The example on the screen changes the page's background color when a user activation is detected. You can see how the user gesture is propagated in both contexts, changing the background color for both windows. This makes user activations in a document picture-in-picture -picture window usable inside its opener window and the other way around. This change makes using user activation gated APIs more ergonomic. Since often event handlers in the document picture-in-picture -picture window are actually run in the opener's context. So the opener's context needs access to the user gesture. To learn more about the document picture-in-picture -picture API and access the propagate user activation demo, check out the post linked in the description. Scroll containers becoming keyboard focusable is important to make scrollers and content within scrollers more accessible to all users. From now on, scrollers are click focusable and programmatically focusable by default. Before this change, a scroller element could only be tab focused if the tab index was explicitly set to zero or higher. Note that this behavior only happens if the scroller has no focusable children. For example, if the scroller already contains a button, then the tab focus will skip the scroller and focus on the button directly. Accessibility best practices recommend that all features must be available using a keyboard. Keyboard focusable scrollers by default makes it easier for the user to use sequential focus navigation to access the scrollers. Read more about the advantages of keyboard focusable scrollers in the article in the description. And of course, there is plenty more. Concurrent same document view transitions in a mainframe and same origin iframe are now available. Alt text generated from CSS content now supports multiple arguments. The DevTools performance panel now captures WebSocket message events and shows them in the performance trace. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, the CSS podcast, and more. Yo soy Ariana Jara, and as soon as Chrome 128 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.